Hey everyone, welcome to the Dark Psychology World Channel. We're all about discussing the rawest emotions between genders. We've got a new video every day to help you avoid emotional pitfalls. Now, I know a lot of you guys have watched tons of videos about love. But deep down, you might feel like you're missing that one quality that makes girls fall for you. It's not about being handsome or rich. It's about the vibe you give off from the inside out. It's not about whether he's good looking or not. It's about being that rare kind of guy. Today, we're gonna talk about this characteristic. Let's start with the difference between chasing and flirting. I'd rather you have a flirty attitude when hanging out with girls. Chasing implies she's running ahead and you're running after her. But that's like chasing the sunset, it's a lost cause. It means you're trying to win her heart by overcoming all the hurdles she sets up. It's like you have to lower yourself to please her. And that can lead to unequal and unhealthy relationships. On the other hand, flirting is different. A casual tease can express your feelings appropriately. At the same time, it can test her feelings very well. It can even tug at her heartstrings. But for this, you need to have an important quality, nonchalance. When you're interested in a girl, you should maintain an attitude of I like you, but it doesn't affect me. You like her, so you extend an olive branch of love to her. Whether she accepts it or not, it doesn't matter. Expressing affection is our attitude towards girls we like, but we don't chase shamelessly. So, what's a flirty attitude? It's not about going there every three days with nothing to do, having an awkward chat with her, sending some useless care, treating her to guests or giving her gifts without any reason. It's about avoiding investing too much or making the other person feel guilty. It's not about catering to the other party's opinions and giving up your own opinions and ideas. It's not about telling her, I like you, be my girlfriend. It's about expressing your affection for her, but not abandoning your principles. It's about teasing her from time to time, creating ambiguity, but not sending out a formal confession message. So, how do we flirt with girls correctly? First, you need to understand the following three principles. The first point is not to please girls. If you're nice to her and she's also good to you, that's a balance. That's a correct feeling. But if you were just nice to her and she only cares about enjoying, that loses balance. Even if you were together, that's an unhealthy relationship. A good relationship isn't gotten by kneeling down and begging. A relationship is something that requires equal effort from both parties to maintain. The second point to remember is knowing how to say no to girls. Don't always respond to their requests. If you fulfill all her wishes, she'll only demand more and value you less. She'll take your kindness for granted. It's true that when you're pursuing a girl, you're nice to her, which is understandable. But it should be based on your own initiative, not her passive requests. For example, if she likes a lipstick and asks you to buy it for her, you can refuse because it's not your own idea. But if you see a lipstick that you think suits her well, you can buy it for her. That's your own idea and it's justifiable. But even when you're nice to a girl, it should be based on principles and boundaries, not just about being nice. We often talk about not investing too much when pursuing girls. The process of chasing her is an emotional one, not about giving her material things or spending money on her. The third point is not to always reply to her instantly. Maintain an appropriate distance. Many guys get excited when they see a girl's message. No matter what they're doing or how busy they are, they'll drop everything to reply. But this leaves an impression in a girl's heart that you're always free. Even when you're pursuing a girl, don't give up on your own life. When a woman sees you replying to her message instantly, she'll definitely feel that she's got you. You have no life except her. Women won't like a man who has no life of his own. When you understand these three principles, I believe you'll be able to maintain your principles in front of the girl you like. Next, we need to play hard to get. The specific approach includes three points. The first is a sense of mystery. You have to keep girls guessing about your true intentions and contacting her frequently. Don't overexpose your needs, but also express your affection for her appropriately. A lot of you guys might feel that if you contact girls frequently, your intentions become obvious. Girls can easily guess what you're up to. But here's the thing, there's an element of uncertainty. Even if she guesses your intention, it's just a guess, not a fact. And this uncertainty gives girls room for imagination. What does he mean? Is he chasing me? Is he chasing many girls at the same time? At this level, you can create ambiguity through chatting. Let her uncertainty lean towards certainty. But at the same time, reduce active contact with her to keep her uncertain. Gradually reveal that you admire her, have a crush on her, but your behavior is not chasing her. When she starts to ponder your thoughts, she's already hooked. The second point is about habit development. Simply put, let her get used to your presence. For example, chat with her at a fixed time, give her a cute nickname. But don't just send some good morning and good night messages or holiday greetings. It's about talking about everyday life, interesting little things. Let her form and share habits of interacting with you. Sharing will make you feel, and this feeling is emotional involvement. 
Once you get used to it and get emotionally involved, it will form an emotional habit. Only by guiding her emotional investment in the early stage can you reduce contact later and give her mood swings. The third point is about high value and high availability. During the interaction, you must show your high value indirectly. At the same time, let her know that only she will be treated specially by you. Therefore, in the process of guiding her, let her know your value. Make her feel that you are within reach. She will be more willing to interact with you and unwilling to let go. For example, you're chatting with her and a girl comes up to you and says, I heard that you won an award. That's so awesome. You answer the girl, there's none left, then continue chatting with her. Where were we? This shows that you're popular with girls and have the talent to win awards, but you still focus on chatting with her. Let her feel that you treat her special. High value attracts girls and high availability makes you hard to let go, arousing the unwillingness in her heart, thus transforming into her initiative. If you always get hurt and fail in front of feelings, do you want to improve your love skills? If you want to get rid of singleness or save yourself for love, even if you know nothing now, are confused and lost, then don't be afraid. Because learning can make you grow. If you want to learn how to chat with girls, want to learn how to attract girls, want her to chase you, or if you're in love and chasing a girl, or need help with emotional issues related to dating recovery, then pay more attention to my video sharing. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You can also share these fascinating insights with your family and friends. Hit the subscribe bell and you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Here's the Dark Psychology World channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.